Hi there YouTube fam, it's Mrs. Rains here. I'm coming at you with a video about how I pack for a day trip. I am headed out on a day trip that's going to take me on a six hour ride to and from the location. And I wanted to show you the things that I would take with me if I'm not staying overnight. These are things I just need on the ride to make my, my ride more comfortable. And so let me just show you what I have. Obviously I'll be taking my cell phone, but it won't be pictured in this video. But on the tech side of things, I have a selfie stick. I have a spare battery and charger. I have a wall charger. And I have random headphones that I got from, I believe, Five Below. And then getting over into the personal items, I have some wet wipes. These are wonderful to take just to wipe up, you know, messes in the car. Also to clean off surfaces in restaurants when you want to go and sit down. I have this pill case that I've had for many eons. The zipper's actually broken on it. It's kind of well-worn. It's kind of probably past its prime. But I love it so much because the pills inside, it's compartmentalized. And I can put, which you see in there is my allergy medication, aspirin. I can put Advil, Tylenol, whatever I think I might need, I can put in here. And it's in a nice little container and easy to find. I have my handy-dandy breath mints. I've had my hand sanitizer you never know if you're going to be near a sink or not i have some fluffy socks i have many pairs of these and these really come in handy if you are in a car that's cold or if you're on a tour bus or anything like that or on a um, charter bus rather and your feet get cold these are wonderful to have you can actually get these at the dollar tree uh, i have a couple of pair of shades because i just don't know which ones i'll want to wear at what given time so i'm taking those i am taking my eyeglasses in case i need them I also have some reading material here. This is a book that I'm reading called How Christians How Should Christians Vote by Tony Evans. Still working my way through that. It's a very relevant and topical book to be reading at this time. This is my YouTube notebook, so I have some notes in here on videos that I want to do. So I'll take that with me just in case I need to write some ideas down as I get them. Also, I have a pen to go with that. This is also a double duty item, meaning that there's more than one use. I can use this to write down information, directions, jot down um, websites I want to remember, jot down names, addresses, phone numbers, any of that that I can't readily get to my cell phone or something like that. I can write them down here. I'm of course taking my wallet. I'm taking this blanket, which is a Vince Camuto blanket. It's a very small blanket, but it's just big enough to cover like your arms and shoulders on down to your waist. And it's nice and cozy. So if you get cold, like if you're riding on a bus or in a uh, vehicle and you know obviously the driver needs to be comfortable so if the air conditioning is going but you're a little chilly you can kind of slip this over your arms and shoulders I also have this little bag uh, last but not least and in this bag I have like personal items and toiletries so there's a tube of lipstick in there there's a little perfume in there there is a hand lotion in there <clears throat> And incidentally, when you get your travel size items, keep them handy because this is a perfect use for them. I have a chapstick in here. I have some wet wipes in here. I have some feminine wipes in here. I have my favorite hair comb, of course. I have a travel size deodorant in here. I have a pair of earrings. I actually have some band-aids in here because you never know when you might get hurt. So <clears throat> just a plethora of items that might come in handy. And I just keep them in this little small zip container because then if I have to stop at a rest stop and go into the restroom I can take just this little bag I don't have to carry the entire bag inside in order to freshen up a little bit incidentally not pictured here I'm also taking a change of clothes because you never know if you want to if something spills on you and you need to change or if you just need to change clothes because you want to feel more fresh I always feel that way on a long road trip, so I will be taking a change of clothes with me as well as a second pair of shoes. I know it sounds like you're overpacking for a day trip, but for me it's necessary. And again, everything's just going to go in this tote bag. It's a hot pink uh, Michael Kors tote. I like it because it does not have any compartments. Well, it does have the two zipper pockets, but no major compartments. And I like it also because it has this um, long thing to put your keychain on so I can find my keys in a pinch but yeah I like that it's open I've seen a lot of youtubers that make day trip videos and they need compartmentalized bags but if you're anything like me the compartmentalized bags make me crazier because I have a hard time remembering what I put in each pocket so for me it's better just to have an open bag where I can kind of toss everything in and grab what I need the other reason I like this bag is because the lining is the same color as the bag 
I can't do bags that have a dark color lining because it's almost impossible to find what you need in the bag if you're in a moving vehicle or if you're in the dark or anything like that. So I like being able to open and see what I have. So anyway, that is what I have in my little day trip bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back at you on Sunday, hopefully with another video when I return. So put God at the head of all you do and I'll see you guys on the next one.